lifting families out of poverty. I'm Thalia Asuras with a new savings plan turning dreams into reality. This is the CBS Evening News with Bob Schieffer reporting tonight from Washington. Next on the CBS Evening News, she works hard, but she couldn't save enough for a home of her own. She didn't need a handout, but a hand up. How she and thousands of others got one next. Nearly 70% of American families own their own homes, but it can be awfully tough for many working Americans who live paycheck to paycheck to save enough for that all-important down payment, which is where a fast-growing network of local programs is coming in to help people learn how to save and give them a boost toward their goal. Here's Thalia Assurance. 32-year-old Maria Cruz is raising four boys on her own. That's Evan. The inquisitive one, he's yeah. Darius. Marcus likes to show off. And Andrew, well, he's a teenager now. And for the past year, for the first time ever, they've had a home of their own. Like, I can't believe I, I, this is me. I own this. You know, I keep saying that to myself all the time. Marquise has his own bedroom. A medical assistant, Maria earns $25,000 a year. Not enough to buy a house. That changed when she spotted a savings and education program for low-income working families called Individual Development Accounts at her local community center. A way to start saving. My goal every month was at least 100. For every dollar Maria managed to put away, her local IDA program, one of almost 500 across the country, provided $3 in matching funds from federal, state, and private sources. I saved 1,333 and IDA matched me four grand. In some states, IDAs are even more generous, up to eight times a participant's savings. If you set a goal for yourself... The trick is learning how to save. The know-how comes from eight weeks of mandatory financial education classes. The incentives, cash for a college education, starting a small business, or, as in Maria's case, for a down payment on a first home. The more I saved, the more I was going to better myself in my heart. I was choosing a home. The philosophy, originally developed by a professor at Washington University, is that the best way to get ahead is to save money and acquire assets. IDAs are a first for the country's poor. Incentives similar to the tax breaks or mortgage deductions middle and upper class Americans have benefited from for years. We've seen historically in this country that you build wealth by building assets. See, it's a new way to approach poverty. Andrea Levere runs the Corporation for Enterprise Development, which coordinates the IDA programs and is pushing new legislation that would boost the current 50,000 independent development accounts to almost 900,000. There's kind of a dirty word hanging in the air, kind of, that this is part of a welfare program, though. The way we like to say is this is a hand up, not a handout. Without his or her initiative, it wouldn't work at all. I used to live right here on 49. It helped Maria Cruz leave public housing and gave her more than a house. If they see this coming from me, they're going to do better themselves. Pride and purpose she is now passing on to her children. Thalia Asuras, CBS News, Fitchburg, Massachusetts.